bishops of stone left a large impression on the hearts of parishioners and he was meant to host a holy hour tonight but it was still held in his honor a holy hour meant to be shared with bishop joseph sistone going without him tonight the bishop died overnight after battling lung cancer for more than a year very sorrowful i mean it's a shock um and we've lost a wonderful shepherd for our our flock here he was always a calming influence and really i think restored the faith for for catholics that that might have been having some difficulty with all the scandals Tonight's holy hour at the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary Church in Midland honors the bishop and his faith through a holy mass. Parishioners say, though Bishop Sistone isn't there, the memories of him are. His smile and how he um, just knew how to connect with everybody in the room. Um, even you know when he, we would have events here, he would go back in the kitchen and thank the workers there. And you know those are people that are normally forgotten. And so he um, he just he knew how to touch every member of our family. And his teachings will live on. Well, he may be gone, but the message is still here. You know, his love for us as, as a flock is still here. So we can take uh, his memory and his messages and, and just be better servants of the Lord and better servants to this community. Bishop Sistone will be con will continue to be honored throughout the week during numerous ceremonies. As for net, what happens next for the diocese, it all depends on the College of Consultors. Now, that's a group of priests appointed by Sistone as advisors. They'll meet in accordance with church law and work closely with the Archbishop of Detroit. In time, a new bishop will be appointed, but at this time, there's no estimate as to when that's going to be. Of course, we're going to keep you updated as to when that'll happen. Live in Saginaw Township tonight, I'm Scott Walchek, WNEM TV5.